Hey everyone, I'm Sarah O'Connell and welcome back to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Before we get started, please give this video a quick thumbs up and subscribe to help support my channel. The 31st of March is Trans Day of Visibility, a day when we celebrate trans and non-binary people all around the world and highlight the discrimination that they still face every single day. 375 trans and gender diverse people were reported murdered in the past year making 2021 the deadliest year on record. Transphobic hate crimes in the UK have quadrupled in the past six years. The government still hasn't banned so-called conversion therapy and certain corners of the media continue to spread transphobic hate every single day. But I want to take this moment to remind my trans family that there are a lot of people around the world that still love you, support you and have got your back. I released my first Trans Allies video in 2020 just a few months after my mum sadly passed away. So I wanted something to focus on and to put something positive back into the world. 35 amazing allies shared messages of support, said why it's important and indeed easy to be a trans ally. I also released a second video on Trans Day of Visibility itself, featuring the trans community. Soon after, I received an overwhelming outpouring of love from both the LGBTQIA community and allies and heard how much it meant to so many people and how rare it was to see any positive content at that time. Sadly, once transphobes found it, I was bombarded with hate, horrific abuse and even death threats. It really affected me for months and when thinking about doing another video in 2021, knowing what had happened last time, it would have been very easy to just hide away to be bullied into silence, but visibility matters, more so now than ever before. And it really can save lives, so in 2021, I went from 35 allies to 58, and now in 2022, well, I'd like to give the warmest of welcomes to my 70 guests. Hi everyone. Hello, my name is Margaret Atwood. Hi, I'm Vincent D'Onofrio. Hello there, I'm Dawn French. Hello, this is WWE Hall of Famer Mick Foley. Hello, this is Miriam Margulies. Hi, I'm Richard Marks. Hi there, I'm Lorraine Kelly. Hi, I'm Tom Arnold. Hi there, I'm Jan Arden. Hi, this is Nish Kamal. So Kel Val here. Hi, I'm Billy Bragg. Hi, I'm Len Penny. Hi, I'm Ellie Mastal. Hi, I'm Julie Pacino. Hi, I'm Chris Barron from The Spin Doctors. Hi, I'm Eleanor Morton. I'm Mike Drucker. My name is Pam Keith. I'm Alex Bayes. I'm Rihanna Pratchett. This is singer Billy Gilman. I'm Natalie Nutt. I'm Justin Mohouse. I'm Suze Kemenat. I'm Donna Leva. I'm Devin Lyle. I am Florida State Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith. I'm Sarah Gibbs. I'm Jonathan Lovitz. I'm Natasha Devon. I'm Jeffrey Reddick. I'm Stella Duffy. I'm Guy Wilson. My name is Dr. Ome Congo de Binga. My name is Emma McGann. I'm Dan Hernandez. I'm Judy Kuhn. I'm Richard Newby. I'm Bobby Oliver. I'm James Andre Jefferson Jr. I'm Allison Burnett. I'm Simon Vazek Levinson. I'm Jamie Andrews. My name's Jeff Howard. I'm Lisa Jermusi. I'm Liam Edwards. I'm Kathy Gorey. I'm Ewan Gottfried. I'm Lim Featherstone. I'm Leonard Wu. I'm Kim Ismay. It's Chris Matman. I'm Abby Crutchfield. I'm Jeff Vandermeer. I'm Nick Keenan. I'm Billy Lunn from the rock band The Subways. I'm Alexis Oatman. I'm Justin Brooks. My name is Dana R. Fisher. I'm Judd Winnick. I'm David Freen. I'm Patsy Stevenson. I'm David B. from Calling All Astronauts. I'm Natalie Gold. I'm John Byrne. Hey, my name is Susan Eisenberg. I'm John Lee Brody. My name is Anastasia Busis. I'm Bill Squire. Welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Hello. My name is Margaret Atwood. I'm a writer. Today we are seeing an alarming rise in aggressive authoritarianism. The horrifying invasion of Ukraine is the most visible example. In many places in the world, trans people live in fear of death just for being who they are. Democracies should respect the rights of all human beings. Trans people are people. They are also your fellow citizens your neighbors, your family members. Choose democracy, value diversity. Thank you. Hi, I'm Vincent D'Onofrio. Welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Have you got any messages for the trans community and why it's important to be an ally? It's really important. You know, I have to say that my son, my youngest son, his name is Luca. Mm. He's going to be 14. I never thought that I would meet a person in my life that I felt was completely colorblind and genderblind. Like I had, I really believed that that was never going to be true. And then my son, Luca came along and uh, his friends and him are the future. I mean, I, it makes, makes me tear up when I think about it. It's, 
you know, this, these kids are amazing. You know, it, it, they are going to move all of that stuff forward for us. Everything we've been fighting for, for, for everything that's, um, everything that's been needed as far as, as far as people of color and religion and the LBTQ plus communities and um, everybody being allowed to be who they say they are without any rules being put upon them. And uh, my son, Luca is that person. He is, you know, I can only use him. He's the best. He, I know him better than any other kid. Um, any other kid his age, I should say, you know. And uh, he's the future. Like, that's it. There's nothing more to say that I can say more than that about it. He is, him and his friends are what every human being should be. Hello there, I'm Dawn French, or sometimes Jennifer Saunders, but mainly Dawn French. And um, welcome back to the Sarah O'Connell Show. And Sarah tells me that she's making a special show um, in support of the trans community. And uh, yeah, I've got no problem supporting that whatsoever. So um, mm, yeah, trans community, I'm with you all the way. Uh, one day, one day, though this won't even be an issue. It'll just be all normal, like it should be. Anyway, all my support and all my love. Bye. Hello, this is WWE Hall of Famer Mick Foley, and welcome back to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I want you to know, if you are in the trans community, that you have a friend in me. Yeah, yeah, I think it takes all of us together. Get along, appreciate each other, uh, not in spite of our differences, but because of our differences. That's what makes us special. And I'm here for you and proud to do it. Hello, this is Miriam Margulies and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I'm an 80 year old out lesbian and I wanted to send support for the trans community. And I'm assuming that they would send support to me. Bless you all. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Richard Marks, and welcome back to the Sarah O'Connell Show. As many of you know, the trans community is under attack by vicious, hateful, ignorant, bigoted ideology. I think it's important now more than ever to not only be an ally to the trans community, but to show it. Hi there, I'm Lorraine Kelly and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. And for Trans Day of Visibility, I'd like to send a message of love and support to my friends who are trans and to everybody who's either made the journey or is going through it. It's all too often a really hard road to travel and I'm very saddened and frankly a bit baffled that in recent years it seems to have become even tougher. Just doesn't make sense, does it? For me, it's very, very simple. Trans women are women, trans men are men and deserve our support and understanding. I'll never forget one of the bravest women that I ever met. Um, Jane was a bus driver in East Cobride in Scotland and I must have been about 13 when I moved there. So this would have been early 1970s and Jane was transitioning. She'd grown her hair, she wore a dress or a wee skirt and a blouse and she always looked very, very smart behind the wheel. And back then, you know, female bus drivers were really rare. Trans bus drivers, rarer still. I think Jane was probably the only one in Scotland. Sadly, she did receive abuse, but she also got a lot of support as well. She was a real trailblazer and I admired her because she was so strong and very, very courageous. And I think that she helped a lot of people just by living her life in her own way and on her own terms. She's just one of many trans men and women I've met over the years who have impressed me with their bravery, with their tenacity and also their humanity. And I really wanted to say a massive thank you to the trans community for their support of me and also for trusting me with their stories. I was so chuffed 
when husband and wife Hannah and Jake Graff chose to come on my show to talk about the birth of their beautiful daughter and the fact that they are expecting another baby this year. Now, Hannah, she is a bright and beautiful woman. She served her country in the armed forces and Jake is a very talented actor, writer and filmmaker. And their kids are lucky to have such loving parents. Also, lots of thanks to Hollyoaks actress Annie Wallace. Uh, Annie was an amazing guest and the kind of woman that you want to be your best pal. But to everybody who is trans, fighting your own battles maybe every single day, we have got your back. And I hope that you can live your best life and I send you all my love. Because you know what? We're all just trying to get on with our lives best we can. Hi, I'm Tom Arnold and welcome back to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Hi, everybody. Uh, I want to give a little shout out to number one, Sarah, who's amazing. I've had the honor of being on her show. It's the biggest honor uh, I've had. She's, I love her. I love you. And I want to give a shout out to the trans community. I have many friends in the trans community. I have many friends that are, that are in the trans community that I don't even realize. And I love them all. And I support them. And because uh, I'm a dad. My kids are eight and six, and uh, who knows what they end up being in life w with whatever, whatever makes them happy. And if someone gives them a hard time, that would be very unfortunate. And, and anyone that picks on trans people is a coward and a wussy. And, and it's just, it's your time at the, the barrel right now with these weird, uh, go because they can't quite pick on Jews or gay people or black people so much. So they're like, oh, what do you think we get away with? And guess what? They cannot get away with it because we will not let them get away with it. And in, in five years ago, what was that about? It better be there. Anyway, I love you all. Uh, you know, I've been also married to four women and it has not gone well. Four cis women. And so <laughs> I am in the market for whatever because my, my choices have not been good. Anyway, I love you. Thank you. Goodbye. Hi there, I'm Jan Orden and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Why am I a trans ally? There is millions and millions and millions of reasons why I am a trans ally. I know so many trans people I know they's and them's and he's and she's and theirs and we's and I's. It doesn't matter what you might think about trans people because it really doesn't affect your life. How a person wants to make their way through the world, how a person wants to identify, how a person feels about themselves, how a person wants to present themselves. It's so important that we as artists and as, as creators and as people that influence cultures, it's so important to stand up shoulder to shoulder with our friends, our trans community, young people, not so young people, old people, trans people that were trans long before we even knew what trans meant to us. I am so proud to be able to, to be able to speak to you a little bit here today. And I guess my message to you is don't be afraid. Don't be paranoid, don't be judgmental, don't be intolerant, be loving. And if you don't understand, ask the questions. Everyone, every trans person that I know is so open to being asked a question. Um, and you know, I had a friend come out recently as non-binary and I was very used to having a dialogue with them for a great many years in a different way. And I made a lot of mistakes and they would say, don't worry, Jan, I'm making mistakes too. Be kind, be sensitive, be cool. 
support trans people. They need us more than ever right now. Hi, this is Nish Kumar. Welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I just wanted to say to everybody a very happy Trans Day of Visibility and shout out to the whole transgender community and send a lot of love to our transgender siblings all over the world. I think it's very important now more than ever that minority communities stand together because none of us are free until all of us are free. And also, some members of my community, i.e. cisgendered male comedians, have said some not ideal things. And I just want to reassure people that uh, there are some of us out there that really unequivocally believe in trans rights and trans acceptance. Lots of love, everybody. Hey guys, so Cal Val here, and you are watching The Sarah O'Connell Show. I just wanted to come on here and say thank you so much to Sarah for being an amazing host. I've connected with her on Twitter and through WS Wrestling, and what she does is just amazing. She's a hostess with the mostest, and as a proud LGBTQ plus ally, I want to send all the love to that community, because love is love, and guess what? I love all of you. Mwah. Hi, I'm Billy Bragg. Welcome to The Sarah O'Connell Show. There's a song that you released in 1991 called Sexuality, which at the time the LGBT community were facing Section 28, which was horrific in the UK. Now, you've recently updated the song to include trans people. Can we talk a little bit about that and why yeah, it's important course. to be a trans ally? Sure. Well, I mean, you know, when I initially wrote it, it was obviously about being an ally to the uh, lesbian and gay community who are, as you say, were under a lot of uh, discriminatory pressure from the Conservative government, there was a thing called Section 28, which was a, a, a law that said, you, if I remember right, you cannot promote homosexuality in schools. I mean, what that means, I don't know. But basically what it was, it was a flag or a dog whistle, more of a dog whistle from the Conservative government to put the hate onto the gay and lesbian community to uh, mark them out for, uh, you know, some kind of you know collective punishment for not conforming to society's norms. And so as a, as a straight man, I, I was involved on a number of initiatives, particularly around the AIDS issue. There's a group in America called ACT UP that mm. I did a number of shows with them in New York and, uh, and San Francisco. And I, and I wanted to write something that would allow not just myself to make a statement, but also my audience also to, to rally around. So uh, I wrote Sexuality and uh, it got, again, it, it sort of got me into the charts. It's my big pop hit. Johnny Marr produced it. In fact, Johnny Marr co-wrote it. And he produced it and uh, made a, we made a big pop hit with it. 30 years later, I mean, it's 1990, 1991 when it came out. 30 years later, I think anybody listening to that song now who was born when that song came out would listen to the lines, you know, just because you're gay, I won't turn you away. If you stick around, I'm sure we can find some common ground. And I'm be thinking like, what's this old guy making such a big fuss about finding common ground with a gay man about? It's not a big deal. You know why? And so I, I you know, I recognise that. And it's absolutely clear that the trans and non-binary communities are now on the front line of discrimination. Uh, they're the ones that need allyship. So um, I decided I would tweak the lyrics a little bit to say, just because you're they, I won't turn you away. If you can stick around, uh, I'm sure we can find the right pronoun. So, you know, it's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. It's not, a, a, you know, anything other than just recognising that not only um, that things have changed, but also I think recognizing that my generation have a little bit of trouble getting their heads around the idea of trans rights and non-binary rights. Now, I've thought a lot about this because um, I try to, in, you know, when I've been playing it live, I try to sort of pitch it to my audience that just because we were radical in the 1980s, doesn't mean we're radical now. We have, we have a choice. We can sort of like, you know, lean on our laurels and be that person in the corner telling everyone how great the clash were. Or we can actually recognise that there's different things going on. Hi, I'm Len Penny and welcome to the Serial Connell Show. I'd like to take a moment to extend a message of solidarity, support and friendship to the trans community. It might not seem like it sometimes, but I promise you there are plenty of people out there who are more than willing to lend what you need, whether it's a voice or an ear, and we're not going anywhere anytime soon. It's important to be an ally now more than ever because it seems increasingly that transphobia is becoming a more prevalent issue in society and whether it's online trolls all the way up to the media, it seems like everyone has it out for trans people for some reason. It's ridiculous and the burden of combating this shouldn't just fall to trans people alone. 
It should be a community effort to try and ensure that people don't have to sit and debate their human rights. They don't have to sit and justify their own existence. So it's important to be an ally because this is a community issue. This is something that we all need to come together to try and call out. We need to come together to speak up, speak out and make our voices heard so that people don't feel alone in the fight for their own existence. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ellie Mistal, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Um, Sarah has given me the opportunity to express why I'm a trans ally. Um, and so I want to really quickly say three things. My first reason, and this is probably like the most controversial uh, reason for being an ally, I'm a human person, and trans people are human people. And so it seems like we should be allied in our shared humanity. Um, against the other human people who seem to have not gotten the memo about who's people. So that's one thing, right? Um, number two, the people who are anti-trans seem to think that it's okay to bully children. And I, I don't get that. As You know, trans kids are bullied. They're made to feel less than, as if high school isn't bad enough. Um, so I find it pretty easy to be on the side of kids who are trying to get through school without, you know... Uh, of having their brains warped, right? So like ally to trans children, obviously. And then finally, trans women, trans women of color are the most likely to be murdered, are the most likely to be domestic violenced. Um, and if, if you can't get up to, to fight against domestic violence, um, if you can't get up to fight against uh, violence against women, trans women, if that's uh, an important adjective uh, to you, then um, you just can't get up to fight. Um, so those are my obvious reasons. Thank you so much, Sarah, for giving me uh, this opportunity to express my support and great work. Hi, I'm Julie Pacino, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I uh, just wanted to send a message expressing my love and support for the trans community. I'm a big believer in living your truth, and I stand by you. So lots of love. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Chris Barron from The Spin Doctors, and welcome back to The Sarah O'Connell Show. And I just want to say I'm a trans ally, and I think we all should be, because in a free society, you should be able to be whoever you truly are. Hi, I'm Eleanor Morton, and welcome to The Sarah O'Connell Show. Right now, trans lives and rights are being threatened across the globe, and now more than ever, it's important for trans allies to stand up and say that trans rights are human rights. Hi, I'm Mike Drucker, and welcome to The Sarah O'Connell Show. I want to talk a little bit to the people who call themselves allies out there about why it's important to be an ally to the trans community. First of all, um, because trans people are people. Trans women are women. Trans men are men. Non-binary people are non-binary. So uh, first of all, it's good to just help people exist. There's no reason for the cruelty we have in this world. And unfortunately, based on the unfair way the world's built, a lot of the time it's going to be up to allies to talk to people, talk to people in your family, talk to friends who have concerns about things that are just parroted right-wing talking points. There's a lot of things you can do. You don't have to go to every march holding a sign and post yourself on Instagram. You can talk to people. You can read up on things. You can learn things. You can also admit when you make mistakes. I've made mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. You're not an enemy of the people if you make a mistake as long as you learn and you own up to it. Being an ally means learning as much as you can, not just saying yes and when you're asked to. It's important to learn. It's important to care about people. Talk to the trans people in your life and also treat them like people. Uh, from what I hear, trans people don't want to have to talk about being trans all the time. And that's what your support can help with. It can help with people just living their lives. And that's important because for a lot of us, you know, we don't have to think about that. We don't have to consider how the government's going to pass a law that makes it impossible for a cis white dude to do business. They're not. They're not going to attack me. And they're not going to attack a lot of us. Not all allies. All allies are attack under different circumstances. A lot of allies are under attack. But we're the ones who have, unfortunately, the access to a lot of people who are unwilling to listen. And it shouldn't be on the shoulders of the people suffering to stop their own suffering. It shouldn't be on the, the shoulders of the people being oppressed by new laws to stop those laws on their own. It's not fair. The world isn't built fair, but we, those of us who do have the power, those of us who want to be considered allies, have the power to at least try to enact some change. And we should. We should take that responsibility. 
You're an ally if you learn and you work and you fight for people. Being an ally is much more than retweeting someone or telling a trans friend one day that you're sorry it's hard for them. It's about really listening and really trying to engage. If you live in a state that's making it much harder to be a trans person, which is unfortunately a lot of states, you should be saying something. You might not be able to change everything on your own, but you know, a bunch of raindrops make the flood. So try to do more, try to learn more. And it's okay to have been wrong. It's okay to make a mistake. Just own up to it, grow from it. Being an ally isn't being a perfect person from the start. It's learning everything you can and trying to do well for the people who would benefit from your help. Take the advantages you've been given. Take the passive advantages you've been given of someone who's not going to be harassed on the street necessarily and try to use it. Try to, again, talk to your family, talk to friends, write to people. Trans people should not have to battle for their rights on their own. Just like anybody should not have to battle for their rights on their own because rights apply to all of us. And you should not need a trans daughter or a trans son to see that. Rights apply to everybody. Trans people are people, and they deserve to live their goddamn lives in peace. Thank you. Hi, my name is Pam Keith. I'm a former congressional candidate, an attorney, and a political activist. I'm sending this message to my trans brothers and sisters, this time when you are being so uh, attacked, maligned, harmed, retaliated against, belittled, and dehumanized. There are millions of people like me who are your allies and stand with you, who are going to fight tooth and nail against the Republican Party and the GOP that wants to insist that there's only one way to be and that it's their way. And if they can't get their heads around what is going on with you, they get to treat you like you're nothing. Well, let's keep it very simple. You are what you ask me to tell you you are. If you present yourself to me as a woman, you're a woman to me. If you're a man, you're a man to me. I don't care what gender you were born. Just like you shouldn't care where I was born to treat me with dignity and respect. There are a lot of people who are trying to turn back the clock, take away civil rights, try to put us back in some religious box that makes them feel comfortable. But the truth of the matter is that is a sign of deep and profound insecurity. People who are secure in themselves don't need anybody to validate what they are. They just know that they can treat themselves and others with dignity and respect. The fight is not over, but I am in it with you. And whether you are lay, get lesbian, gay, transgendered, queer, inquiring, non-binary, non-gender conforming, whatever it is, most of all, you're just a human. And I will love you for that. Hi, I'm Alex Bays, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Um, Sarah asked if I would give a message of support to the trans community. So here it is. I love you, and I'm an ally. Um, I'm endlessly impressed and amazed by the courage and tenacity of the trans community in tearing down barriers. Uh, I'm a straight white man, sorry. Uh, but the biggest challenge I face most days is wordle. Um, but I grew up in a Catholic military family, so I know a little bit about some of the barriers you're facing, and I think that's why it's important to be an ally. I've been in the spaces where opposition to the trans community is very staunch. I've lived a lot of my life uh, behind enemy lines, as it were, uh, and I consider it an opportunity to make change. So um, thank you, I love you. If you'll excuse me, I have a wordle to get to. Oh, maybe it's trans. I'm Rihanna Pratchett and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. As a writer of a writer, I was lucky enough to be raised in the world of science fiction and fantasy conventions, where I met many trans people even before I really understood what being trans meant. That environment became my trans ally training wheels of a sort and taught me open-mindedness, compassion and the importance of connecting with people and discovering their stories. 
And I think the last part is what allowed me to eventually take off those training wheels and become a fully fledged trans ally. It was about the trans friends and colleagues I've made throughout my life, listening to their tales, their struggles, and seeing their beauty and courage. When I was talking about trans rights with my elderly mum and discussing the difference between sex, gender and sexuality, I found myself using two things to convey the complexities to her. My trans friend Donna, who mum had met and who had given my father, in my mum's words, the best haircut of his life, shout out to Donna Whitbread, and the character of Bernadette Bassinger from Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, which is a family favourite movie. I found out that because she enjoyed the characterization of a trans person on screen, as well as having met one in real life, she simply got it a lot more. Representation and interaction matter. It cultivates empathy and understanding, which is so needed in the world right now. It also spoke to me about the need for writers and other creators to help amplify trans voices and representation on screen and off wherever we can. We're living in a time where the trans community is enduring a great deal of discrimination and fear mongering, which is why it's more important than ever that trans allies step up to the plate and help to create a world that is inclusive, respectful and kind. Thank you. This is singer Billy Gilman and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. March 31st is Trans Day of Visibility. Have you got any messages for the trans community and why it's important to be an ally? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm I actually in my close circle, my mother's hairdresser. She adopted a, a young girl who knew at three years old. Knew three and four years old. Um, it's remarkable strength that even I don't have. And I don't, I will never know that strength because I am who I am and that's that's it. And I can't imagine the feeling you have of not being comfortable in your own body and so i of course i'm 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 of the co-op anyway but it's just so important because it's it's killing so many people when they're around circles that don't understand and if you like i always say even with being a gay artist or a gay person you don't have to understand except respect don't have to get it it's not for you to get it's not your life that you have to live but if you understand the respect so I think it's very important and I love that there's such visibility because they, they need it. They, and the more we talk about topics, trans, mental health, sui- youth suicide, anything, the eating disorder, the more we talk about it, the less people are ignorant because ignorance is just lack of knowledge and understanding. And I, I love it that there's so much visibility and I'm proud of, proud of them, proud of them. That's for sure. Going back to the, the little girl was, in, I was young. I was very young. I was 15, 14, maybe. So mm. that's that long ago, that 17 some odd years ago. I mean, this was, this was very progressive for this young little girl. That wasn't where we were then. You know, we weren't even in an LGBTQIA visibility. It was so different then, even as quickly time as that. It's 17 years is not a long, long time. But she looked at me and she said, I'm going to be just like you, you know. And I, I looked at it and I, naive went oh you want to be a singer that's what I thought and she went no and I went oh I gave her a high five and her mother honored it honored her 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 strength and his strength and he's Cody and is a a scholar beyond belief and is so happy and it's just it's just I I, it's so admirable it makes me well off it just it's just such strength and it's it's miraculous that you the, the, the strength that God has instilled you to push through, to endure, is remarkable. Hey, I'm Natalie Knepp, and this is The Sarah O'Connell Show. So I have a lot to say, and I'm not really quite sure where to start, but I, I can't ignore what is clearly ignorant, and none of us. Any of us should ignore what is happening in Florida and Texas and God knows where else in America right now. (sighs) I'm just so scared for these trans kids in our country. And I'm just so heartsick for their parents. They're all, and I think that this is something that we need to face. 
They're all unwitting pawns in a sick game. A campaign, really. Elevated by politicians who's opportunistic, frenzied, homophobic, puritanical attack on trans kids will serve up just another piece of red meat for their base. And yeah, you know what? I'll say it. Red meat thrown to the most deplorable among us in America. Yeah, deplorable human beings who would put targets on the backs of children. Or really, any one of us who doesn't think, act, love, worship, or vote like them. And this is not just political. What's happening right now in Texas, in Florida, what has been happening in Utah, Idaho, Tennessee, Iowa, Alabama, Kentucky, Indiana, South Dakota, I can't even name all of them. We are witnesses to all of this. Bathroom bans, sports bans, medical bans, and now what, thought bans? In public schools? We can't think about them or anything that makes us feel uncomfortable. We are all witnesses to these crimes of vigilantes, to the slayers of souls and spirits who, who never learned and who want us to forget Matthew Shepard. Matthew Shepard relegated to a hideously cruel and lonely fate, relegated to nothing in the middle of nowhere where some, God, just some of the most vile and hateful among us felt that he belonged. You know, I think it's time that we confront what Zubaida so eloquently screamed in Laramie. but I believe a growing number of Americans among us are not like this. It's happening here and it is happening now. We cannot distance ourselves from this crime. We are like this. A democracy that promises equality for all cannot endure if a majority of us does not stand up with one loud voice, school by school, state by state, city by city, vote by vote, and we say, we are not like this. We will not let anyone, anywhere, erase transgender Americans from our thoughts, our voices, our spirits, or our responsibility to acknowledge them and to protect them. Hi, I'm Justin Morehouse and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Uh, I think, well, I'd like to say that I'm a trans ally. Uh, I, I'm, yes, I am. I am. Um, I'm sending lots of love and support to everybody in the trans community because um, we're living in divisive and, and painful and hard enough times as it is. And I can't imagine um, how life could be even more difficult uh, to have to go through some of the experiences that many people, many friends of ours in the community have had to go through. So... Why am I a, a trans ally? Because it's nice to be nice, isn't it? You know, people are people and just be kind and spread the love a little bit. Anyway, lots of love. Uh, take care, everybody, and uh, good luck. Hi, I'm Suze Kemener, and welcome back to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Please excuse my life. That's Freddie Mercury's ass, by the way. I would like to say that I'm proud to be a trans ally, but it's weird to be proud of something I did absolutely nothing to achieve. For me, it's the easiest thing in the world to be a trans ally. The lives of trans men and women and non-binary people has been hard enough throughout history and continues to be without cis people like me making their lives harder. So it is a no-brainer to be a trans ally. Like, if I can make things just slightly easier by not being a complete asshole, then um, good. <laughs> To the whole trans community, I will continue to support you and listen to you and keep retweeting your really very excellent memes. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Donald Leva and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. As a trans ally, I wanted to talk to you why it's so important to be a trans ally now more than ever. We are seeing 
more and more uh, situations where the trans community is put into a place where it's even more difficult for them to just be alive, for them to just exist and be who they are. And I think it's important for us to help them and allow them to not only take up more space, but also to give them a voice and to give them a platform for them to, to just do what they want to do. I think it's amazing that we have some some really phenomenal role models such as Laverne Cox and Trace Lissette and Nicole Ames and MJ Rodriguez, but I still think it's nowhere near enough. I think we need to do more and more. And if you want to learn how to just be a better ally, honestly, educate yourself. There's there's some amazing uh, projects and pieces out there. Disclosure is an incredible documentary that you, I think everybody needs to watch. And, you know, like I said, just make room, make room for our trans brothers and sisters and, and just show them all the love and support that you can. I will try every day to do my best to show them all the lo love and support that I can, but I, I'm only one person. And I think that this is a, a, a community effort that we all need to help them be safe and feel safe and, and just be allowed to be who they are. Hi, I'm Devin Lytle and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Okay, now this may be a hot take, but I specifically believe in the Simone de Beauvoir. I think that's how you say her name. I really I specifically believe in the de Simone de Beauvoir quote, which says that one is not born, but rather becomes a woman. And um, people with turf, turfy beliefs, um, trying to deny the existence of trans people. Um, I think now, more than ever, the, the bravest and most needed act you can do as an American is to stand up for this community that needs us so much. They need us to vote, they need us, they need us to put our money where our mouth is, and they need us to pay attention. So that is um, how I feel. That's how I feel as a woman, a cisgendered woman. And um, if you don't share in those sentiments, then you can take it up with me. You can roll through. We can have a little tete on tete about it. Hi, welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I am Florida State Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith, our state's first openly LGBTQ Latino lawmaker. And I have an important message for LGBTQ youth in Florida and around the country who may be scared or concerned about the recent passage of Florida's Don't Say Gay Bill, and for LGBTQ youth who may be struggling to find acceptance at home or in their communities and schools because of their sexual orientation or gender identity. I used to be you. It gets better. We love you and we accept you for who you are. And people like myself are gonna continue getting up every single day to fight for you because your life matters. Please say gay, say gay anyway, and join our movement at freetosaygay.org and find out how you can help us continue to support LGBTQ youth and continue to beat back against this dangerous legislation. Hi, I'm Sarah Gibbs and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I just wanted to offer a quick message of love and support to the trans community today and every day. I'm so sorry for all the abuse and hate that you get day to day in society and the discrimination that you have to face. And I hope and pray and um, actively working and hope other people are too, to create a better world where trans people can be themselves without fear of recrimination or discrimination or targeted harassment. Um, I have a number of close trans friends and to me one of the most wonderful joys I've had to ex I've got to experience is seeing my trans friends become their real selves and transform into their real selves and their outer selves reflecting the inner selves that that has always been there and how happy and free and wonderful it makes them feel and that is so special and I have no idea why anyone would ever want to get in the way of that. So happy Trans Day of Visibility. Um, I see you. Lots of people see you. Um, there's so much love out there for you and so much support and it will get better. I really, really believe that it will get better. Okay, thank you. 
Hi, I'm Jonathan Lovitz, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Hi there, this is Jonathan Lovitz, and my pronouns are he, him, and his, and I'm sending you the very best from the great city of Philadelphia. It is a privilege and an honor to be a trans ally and to live the truth that's guiding me in my career and certainly in my campaign for the Pennsylvania House, which is it doesn't have to happen to you for you to give a damn. I stand with the trans community in solidarity because you deserve the same dignity and love and respect as every other single human being. And you deserve the safety and freedom to live however you want to identify. So it's my promise as your ally to always keep fighting for you and to make sure that everyone I work with has your back. Stay strong, fight on for those we've lost, and remember the world only spins forward. So together we are gonna make some difference and we are going to make world this world better for our trans brothers and sisters and for all of us. Thanks. Hi, I'm Natasha Devon and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I am a trans ally and I'm very proud to be so for numerous reasons, but the two I'd like to share with you today are firstly, as a bisexual woman, I know how crucial it is that the LGBTQ plus community stands together in solidarity. And secondly, because even in spite of everything that's happening in the world right now, there do seem to be some people who are determined not only to perpetuate the culture wars, but also to put trans people and their lives and experiences at the center of those culture war stories. And I wanted to reassure you that certainly from my perspective, that agenda is incredibly transparent and I will do everything I can to try to get to the real facts behind some of the stories about trans people that we see coming out of media. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Reddick and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Uh, for me, it's really important to identify as a trans ally and very personal uh, because I'm a gay person of color. And throughout my life, I've seen homophobia and transphobia and racism kind of intermingled uh, together. And it all stems from a place of fear and a place of not understanding people who are different. Um, and I had hoped as time went by, things were going to get better and they have to a degree but now specifically uh, trans rights and trans existence is being attacked by laws across the country. And I think it's now really more important than ever to let um, our trans brother and sisters know that they're not alone, that they are loved, and that we are in this fight with them. Um, I know it's a fight for basic human rights and human dignity and the right to exist in the world, um, which should be such a simple concept to so many people, but it just it's baffling that it's not. But again, this is really about a message of, of love and support um, to the trans community. Um, you are seen, you are heard, and again, we will get to that promised land someday where we're all treated as equals. And until then, I've got your back and uh, sending you much love. Take care. Hello, I'm Stella Duffy and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I consider myself a trans ally and when I was thinking about what I would say in order to, I don't know, explain why, I thought, why would I explain? <laughs> um, I think it's kind of weird that we're asked to explain why we want to ally with people that we care about, but okay, here goes. One of the main reasons I think I'm a trans ally is I have trans friends in every generation and have had trans friends and transitioning friends since I was in my late teens, early 20s. I'm 59 now, so that's a fair bit of time. And I've seen how our culture and our societies are not always welcoming to trans people, are not always inclusive of trans people, and can often make trans lives very difficult. And so I want to do whatever I can, and I know that that's not a great deal because I'm just one person, but to try to make that life a little more inclusive, a little more welcoming, and a little more of a life worth living, because we all deserve that, a life worth living. Hi, I'm Guy Wilson, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. First things first, it's an honor to be a trans ally. You, the trans community, 
you've done nothing but bring joy and and love and and light to this world and and to the universal human experience but the stark reality is that the trans community remains one of the most vulnerable facets of society and, and has been for all of human history and i cannot begin to fathom the discrimination and the violence and 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 the pain that you've had to endure and that's why it's more important than ever for trans allies to stand up speak up and lift you up and let you know that you're loved because you are you're loved you are seen and space is being held for you you're perfect you're whole and you are complete. You are just as you're meant to be. Don't ever forget that. And you'll never be alone. Ever. Hi, my name is Dr. Omekongo Dabinga and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Look, I am a proud ally and partner to the trans community. We all know what it's like to feel othered in some way, shape or form. And we need to make sure that when we see what's happening with members of our trans community, we have to be upstanders and not bystanders for them. Every single day you have an opportunity to speak up and use your voice to be a voice for the voiceless in these communities. Dr. King said that none of us are free until all of us are free. And so what are you going to do to make sure that people within the trans community can be celebrated and not tolerated and not discriminated against. We have to understand that if we want to really build this beloved community, that silence is compliance. There is no middle ground. So in places and spaces where you hear something, a joke or something that might be disrespectful and you're not saying anything, you're a part of the problem. We need to get up and we need to stand up for our trans family because really at the end of the day, this society, this planet is big enough for everybody to be loved, for everybody to be put in positions where they feel like they can be their best selves, and you can play a part in that. So today I call on you to figure out what you can do to be a better ally, partner, and upstander for the trans community. Let's go. Hi, my name is Emma McGann, and you're watching The Sarah O'Connell Show, so welcome. Uh, I've been asked to share some reasons why I am a trans ally and why it's important for me in my day-to-day -day life, in my career, in my kind of friendship circles, family circles, through the communities that I foster online, through my music too. And quite simply put, I'm a trans ally because I want to live in a society where um, everybody is loved and accepted and embraced for the people we know ourselves to be. Uh, I'm a trans ally because I believe people, when they tell me about their own experiences and I believe in not jumping to judgment and being willing to educate yourself and maybe unstitch or unlearn things you may have been taught about gender which should not have been taught to you in the way they were perhaps and um, I feel like one of the things that the transgender community need more of are ears, a bigger pool of listeners people willing to um, educate themselves rather than a wall of noise of maybe frustrated individuals set in their own ways, not willing um, to unlearn and um, perhaps, you know, um, coming up with invasive questions or um, in many instances, harassment. Who needs that? Nobody needs that. Um, certainly not the transgender people in my life who i love who are in my friendship circles and my family and my communities online so that is why i'm a trans ally thank you for listening and i hope you enjoy the rest of the show hi i'm dan hernandez and welcome back to the sarah o'connell show i just want to take a moment to express my support for the trans community allyship is a lifelong practice and we should commit to helping in any way we can for me, that includes listening to trans voices, reading articles by trans people and allies that help me understand the nuance of important issues in the trans community, consuming and supporting art and content by trans creators, and using whatever platform I have to speak out against inequity like anti-trans legislation in America and abroad. Some people are in a position to help financially by donating to trans organizations or by using their influence to reach millions of people. But for many, allyship can begin with talking to people in your life one-on-one -on -one and directly addressing why trans issues are so important, not just to the trans community, but to anyone committed to human rights and justice. I will strive to become a better ally and to support the trans community in any way I can. Thanks for having me. Now back to Sarah. 
Thanks, Dan. We now go over to Judy Kuhn. Hello, I'm Judy Kuhn, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Right now, across America and really all over the world, the LGBTQ plus community is under attack with dangerous and discriminatory laws that threaten their very lives and safety. What's most disturbing is the laws that are aimed at trans youth and their families. It's never been more important that trans allies raise their voices and speak up and speak out against these very, very dangerous laws that threaten this most, most vulnerable community. I hope you will join me in this fight for equality and let these kids and their families know that they are not alone, they are supported, and they are loved. Thank you. Hi, I'm Richard Newby and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I'm an author and film journalist, and I just wanna voice my support to the trans community as an ally. Uh, I think that allyship should be second nature and that no laws or prejudices should hinder uh, anyone's ability to embrace themselves and live happily. Um, to my trans friends, you are seen, heard, and loved. Um, and please know that so many of us are fighting alongside you. Hey y'all, I'm Bobby Oliver, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. As a comic and owner of Dow Comedy Studio in Los Angeles, I work with a ton of fantastic trans comedians, and I'm honored to call them my friends. Honestly, our comedy family wouldn't be the same without them. I'm a proud trans ally, and you should be too. Use your powers for good, and don't be a dick. What's happening, people? I'm James Andre Jefferson Jr., and you are now watching The Sarah O'Connell Show. You've got a trans sibling, your brother, what have they taught you and why is it important to be a trans ally? It's it's important to, to just be on the bare level of getting people's pronouns right, because for one, I get some people don't understand different laws and stuff like that, but just calling somebody by what they want to be called, that's just basic. You could do that. And it's, it's no, there's not, nothing difficult about that because it's just important because for me, it, it Personally, as, as a black person, I experienced heavy racism, like like bad racism, pulled over by the cops at gunpoint for, for a, a fix a ticket, st stuff like that. And if I ex if I explain my problem and what I go through to somebody that's not black and they just kind of shove it off, it, that, that feeling kind of sucks. So mm -hmm. how can I take my my personal things that I go through and then not listen to somebody else? Again, you don't have to agree, but just let's start with listening. Because at the end of the day, not everybody has to agree with each other. I'm all about pro-choice, figure out what you want to do. If, if Just listen. But some people some people had their ears closed and not even listening to the issues. They already had their mind made up because they watched a couple of YouTube videos from somebody else that's super ignorant of uh, spewing hate. So just listen. That's all I, I, I preach. Listen. Just listen. You don't have to keep the same ideology as everybody else. But just listen to somebody sometimes. They might change your mind. There are things that I thought that I would never think way back in the day i change every day I, I i educate myself so there are things that i think today that might be ignorant that i might not say five years from now because i learned mm. i just want to say true and thank you for being an ally hi i'm allison burnett and welcome to the sarah o'connell show i'm a trans ally for the simple reason that trans rights are human rights now i think that sounds pretty obvious to most people but to some people it really isn't for those who denigrate trans people, for those who seek legislation to discriminate against trans people, and for those who use their God to condemn trans people, what they're doing is denying the fundamental humanity of trans people. And once a group's humanity is denied, crimes are sure to follow. When we protect trans rights, we honor all human life, including our own. Hi, I'm Simon Vosick-Levinson, and welcome to The Sarah O'Connell Show. I'd like to send a message of support for all transgender people. I hope that everyone watching this will join me in standing with and for the rights, respect, and dignity of trans people across the world. It's more important than ever to stand up and be an ally for trans people whose rights are under attack just for being who they are. Let's always defend the most vulnerable. Hi, I'm Jamie Andrews, and welcome to The Sarah O'Connell Show. To all my trans friends out there, 
You are some of the most beautiful, strong people I know. And I'm so sorry that you have to deal with untold horrors from lack of acceptance to far, far worse. So please stay strong, stay yourself. And I believe that we're going to move toward a time when people are more accepting and can get past these outdated gender roles. Come on. Oh, speaking of which, my husband's done making me dinner. Talk to you soon. All the best to you. Hi, my name is Jeff Howard, and I'm a movie and TV writer in Los Angeles, and I am forever a trans ally because trans rights are human rights. We're all in this together, and we all really need to care about each other and show empathy for each other. And we all need to remember what is our personal business and what is not. Please, if I will fight for your rights as, as hard as I bet you would fight for mine. Thank you. Hi, I'm Litsa Jermusis, author, essayist, and activist coming to you from Seattle, Washington. Thank you so much, Sarah O'Connell, for asking me to keep speaking out on behalf of the trans community. As allies, what can we do? I find it best to break it down into two parts, the personal and the political, and we know one is the other. Reach out to your trans loved ones, let them know that you're here and we're not going anywhere. We love them and we're gonna keep fighting on their behalf. It can be as simple as retweeting them. It can be as simple as texting. I'm Gen X and some of us still make phone calls, which brings us to part two, the political. Absolutely let your, know your, ele let your elected representatives know that you vote, get on the phone and stay on the phone. Let them know that you vote, that trans rights are human rights, that trans rights are equal rights, and that this is non-negotiable. This is not some niche issue that the conservatives worldwide are trying to portray it as. So we've got a lot of work to do. I know it's a terrifying time. I'm taping this on March 2nd, and the world is a particularly scary place right now. I find it helpful to think of everyone before me in history who has fought mar much larger battles and won. We can do this. Much love to all of you. Much love to the trans community. We're here and we're not going anywhere. We have your back. Thank you again, Sarah. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Liam Edwards, also known as Ace Treader Liam, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. With it being Trans Day of Visibility, I want to say, first of all, friends in the trans community, you matter. You are important and you are valid. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you're any less of a person because you can't spell trans person without person because everybody walking this earth today is a person and that includes trans people. I really find it so weird that people find it so difficult to be a trans ally when it's as simple as showing compassion and respect to other people. It doesn't matter that someone is transgender. All that matters is that they are a person and a good person inside and out. That's all that's ever mattered. We were taught from such a young age, do unto others or any variation of that, any variation of treat people the way you would like people to treat you. Like even if you don't follow any particular religion, people are taught this from such a young age. I was taught this from such a young age. And it's just such a simple concept that you judge people based on the quality of their character, not their outward characteristics. All that matters is that we are loving and respecting each other as fellow members of humanity. That's all this is about. That's how simple it is to be an ally. And if there's ever anything you don't understand, if there's any ever, anything that you're like, oh, I wonder, I don't really know much about that part of what it means to be a trans person. Why not ask? There are so many trans people in the world and you can kindly, politely and respectfully ask about something that you're not sure of. There are so many things that I didn't know about the lives of transgender people and, and what it means to be trans that I've learned from talking to friends of mine who are trans or members of my community that are trans. Or if there's anything I don't know and I'm, I'm a little bit like, oh, I'm not sure if I'm comfortable asking somebody that that outright, I will use the power of the internet. That's how you're watching this video right now. It's so easy to just go online and educate yourself. Above everything else, the most important thing you can be doing to be the best trans ally you can possibly be is when you see any form of transphobia on the internet, in public, wherever, you need to be the person that steps in and says, look, that's not okay. This person here is a person and we should treat them with dignity and respect like all people deserve. You should be helping trans people feel safe and secure within all of our communities because as I've said, trans people are people. So it's as simple as treat trans people with dignity, love, and respect 
And if you see any transphobia, you call it out immediately and you make people aware that this is not okay. It's not okay to be transphobic. It's 2022 for crying out loud. How do we still have transphobia in our world? I will never know. But all I know is I'm going to do my utmost best to be the best ally that I can be. And I hope that you will do the same. Have a lovely Trans Day of Visibility to all the wonderful trans people around the world. And let's make the world just a better place in general for everybody. Hi, I'm Kathy Gorey, and welcome to The Sarah O'Connell Show. The LGBT community, and especially the trans community, are under attack by politicians and governments in many places. It's important right now to make our voices, the voices of all allies, heard in support. The entities that are after our trans friends and family members don't just intend to stop there. No, they have a whole list of other people and other things they would like to see curtailed because they don't like them. If they succeed in their suppression of the trans community, they will be empowered to then move down their list and tick all the boxes of all the things and all the people they disapprove of and would like to stop. So we mustn't let our trans friends and family members stand up alone. We need to stand up with them in love and support now more than ever. We're all in this together. Hi, I'm Ewan Gottfried and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I'd like to take a moment to talk about something that's very important to me, and that's trans visibility. Because being an ally now means that one day in the future, we won't even have to call ourselves an ally anymore. It'll just be the natural order of things to love someone f for who they are. Um, so by coming together as a whole now to, you know, uh, really spread that awareness and representation, we can change the future and it all starts with us, you, me, the guy on the street, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, it's us as a people. Uh, so, and by doing so, we, we can start with inclusion. It can be in your business, your, your work, your career. Um, but it can also be in your life and friendships and love. Um, so by standing up together, by speaking out, we can really help to afford the trans community the same rights and privileges that everyone deserves as people. Uh, so please join me in being an ally and helping to elevate the tolerance, respect, the love, uh, and the invisibility of the trans community. Um, a great place to start uh, with that is by going to www.glad.org. That's glad with two A's. Um, yeah, and so please join me in being an ally and helping to spread the visibility. Uh, thank you so much, Sarah O'Connell, for having me on the show, and thank you for everything that you do. Have a good one. Hello. I'm um, Lynn Featherstone. Welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. And I'm standing here as a trans ally because you know what I care about? I don't care what gender you are, what gender you started off with, who you sleep with. I don't care what you do so long as you're a good person and a kind person. That's what matters in life, for goodness sake. Hi, I'm Leonard Wu, and uh, welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Uh, as a trans ally, I just want you all to know that um, I know it's really frightening, harrowing times right now, and I just want to send um, all my love and support to all of you. Hi, I'm Kim Ismay, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I've been asked to say why I'm a trans ally, and to be honest, I don't really understand how any of us can't be. We're all humans. And the only way we should judge each other as humans is whether or not we're good humans. All the labels that society gives us and that we give ourselves don't really bear any relation to whether or not we're good or kind. They only help us find our tribes and the accepting love and support that we all need. If people don't understand or support trans people, it tells us only about them and not about the trans person. Nowadays, it's never been easier for people to educate themselves and 
Fear and mistrust of something so basic can only come from ignorance. When we stop judging people because of their gender identity or their sexual orientation or the amount of melanin in their skin, only then will we move forward as a society. We're all different. We're all born different. And isn't that a wonderful, enriching thing for the world? We don't choose what we are when we're born. We just are what we are. Straight, LGBTQIA+, gender fluid, non-binary, in all our various and glorious states. And for heaven's sake, nothing is new. There have been trans people since the beginning of time, from the revered two-spirit people of the North American tribes, the brother boys and sister girls of the indigenous Australians, and many, many more. Back in the 80s, it was really, really hard for gender transitioners uh, who wanted to make the final transition to access open help and support. Um, I had a friend who was female, but was born into a male body. And I used to help her feminize her movements because she wanted me to. Uh, just standing, sitting, walking, just general day-to-day -day stuff. Um, because she didn't want to be seen as overtly glamorous or in any way drag. Um, word of mouth got round and I helped other um, people who wanted to transition and not everyone does some people are happy in their body with their gender orientation and their sexual preference and that's fantastic back in the 80s there was still a huge stigma attached and many of the people that i helped uh, sadly couldn't stay and i want to make sure that that never ever happens to anybody else so hell yeah i'm an ally uh, i stand up for trans rights because they're human rights there, it's Chris Matman, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I'd like to just give this message in support of trans and LGBTQA and the entire community. Uh, it's meant a lot to me to be an ally to that community. Um, I'm a NASA scientist, chief technology officer, and professor at the University of Southern California. For the last 20 years and during that time um, I've had the pleasure of knowing several amazing folks who've gone through a life transition uh, from transitioning genders to just transitioning some of their understanding of themselves and it happens a lot more than you think in the computer science and academic community some amazing people that I've known and I've stayed in contact with and friends with. Real people. People that care, that have families, that have brothers, sisters, mothers, that themselves have partners and they just manage it all as they go throughout life, excelling in many categories. It's a dear pleasure to be an ally to these communities and really, really happy to kind of just throw my support behind them during this time. Thank you. Hi, I'm Abby Crutchfield and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Just wanted to give all of my love and support to the trans community. As a trans ally, I, alloy, as a special metal with transitive properties. As a trans ally, I think it's important to be an ally. You're either part of the solution, or you're part of the problem. Isn't that right, Julie Newmar? Mm-hmm. You know it, Abby. Don't forget to be kind. I love you. Hi, I'm Jeff Vandermeer, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I just wanted to express my support for the trans community and trans rights because we're in a period right now where they're under attack uh, in, in really so many and, and, and terrible ways. And really what's happening is, is other people are trying to take away basic human rights from a community that has already been embattled and under pressure and, and um, discriminated against. Uh, and unfortunately, people from the world that I work in, the book culture world, uh, book people world, authors, um, there are some, as we know, quite prominent who you know, could have simply not said anything at all, who have chosen to not only be bigoted, but also 
to put time and money behind it. And I, I just think that's wrong. And I think it's important to speak out against that for that reason, to try to be a bit of a counterweight and try to provide, uh, at least on social media and other places, uh, some semblance of a space that's fact-based uh, and is friendly to the trans community. Um, so that's why I wanted to record this a message of support um, because I know, I know that um, there's just, you know, things going on in the world right now that are not right. So uh, I definitely support trans rights in the trans community. Thank you very much. Hi, welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. I'm Nick Keeney and I'm here to explain why I'm a trans ally. As a queer woman, I think we understand what it's like to have your identity completely rubbished, to disbelieve, to be misunderstood by uneducated people who don't understand, possibly because they've never been educated, possibly because they don't have queer or trans friends, but it's not good enough. Understanding that trans women are women and trans men are men is, is the baseline. And I think the more we can do to educate people, the better. But ultimately, we all need to be there as allies because this journey is about all of us ensuring that we all get equal and fair treatment. Hi there, I'm Billy Lunn and I'm from the rock band The Subways. Welcome to The Sarah O'Connell Show. I'd just like to say on behalf of the band that we 100% fully support the trans community. Given the attacks and further marginalisation that they face every single day in politics and the media, we'd urge you to show your support for the trans community also. As well as this, we'd encourage you to engage your friends and family in conversation and provide them with the relevant material so that they understand what the trans community faces on a daily basis. With that, take care, all the power to you and the very best. I'm Alexis Oatman. I'm a reporter and freelance culture writer based in Ohio. And welcome to the Sierra O'Connell Show. I'm here as a trans ally and to offer my support to the community. Last year, marked one of the deadliest years for transgender and gender non-conforming people. Nearly 57 people were murdered fatally or violently by some other means, according to the Human Rights Campaign. It's time that we stand up and speak out about this and do everything we can to combat this issue. Hi, I'm Justin Brooks, the director of the California Innocence Project and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Today, I wanna to send a special message out to the transgender community in support of Transgender Visibility Day. Um, for the past 30 some years, I've been working in prisons and I've seen a lot of abuse, a lot of alienation of transgender individuals in prison. And prison is a place where people are hidden away. And particularly, it's a place where the transgender community has suffered a great deal. So sending out my support and love on this day. My name is Dana R. Fisher. Welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. On this trans day of visibility, we need to remember three important points. One, we must set an inclusive tone for trans and non-binary individuals. Two, we need to listen to transgender people. And three, we must know our limits as allies. Hi, I'm Judd Winnick and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Uh, I'm here today to talk briefly about Trans Visibility Day. Um, and as strange as it might seem, uh, I'm going to say, as many do in our culture and society, uh, think of the children. And it feels weird saying that, but I don't know if we do that enough when we're talking about trans children. It seems so appalling, exhausting, disgusting that trans kids who are struggling with so much that have so many questions and so many obstacles have become such a source of derision, such a source of hate, such a source of bigotry in our culture. It's astounding. Kids who just need our love and a safe place to figure out who they are and to navigate their way through the world. And here we have people literally trying to pass legislation that questions who they are, like there's an epidemic of trans people out there. This is a small, marginalized community who just want to live in the world. And we have people out here who are spending so much time and energy to make them feel more marginalized, more like outliers, more like there's something wrong with them. So I ask you to think of the kids who are questioning themselves, who are trying to figure it out. 
If you're not going to help, which you're not, then just get out of the way. Just don't hurt. Just try to be kind. And if you can't be kind, then honestly, just shut up. Those of us who love people in the trans community, who have them as part of our lives, we'll take care of that. Let us just support and love them and not have to fight chumps like you so they can just be in the world. Today's Trans Visibility Day, and I just want everyone from the trans community to know how much you are supported and loved and thought about and how much we will all continue to fight for you. Be well. Hi, I'm David Frayne and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. And while I'm here, I just want to send my support to the trans community. Um, I know there's a lot of cruel voices given a lot of attention right now, but I hope you know, no matter how loud they are, there's far more people that love and support you. And there's definitely no LGB without the T. I mean, your fight is, is our fight. So just continue being your incredible authentic selves um, and know that you are not alone and that they will definitely not win. Hey, I'm Patsy Stevenson and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. It's so important to be a trans ally and support the trans community. Being a trans ally is not a title that you give yourself. It's something that you do through actions of respect, knowledge and amplifying voices of those in the trans community. That's why we all need to support trans rights and call out those who don't. Hi, I'm David B from Industrial Metal Band calling all astronauts. Happy Trans Day of Visibility. It's a shame we need one. I've been told I'm a trans ally. I think I'm just a normal person. The bigots, the turfs, the transphobes, they're the absolute smallest minority of society. We don't need them, and they know we don't need them. Put the T into LGBT. Hi, I'm Natalie Gold, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Uh, I just wanted to reach out because on March 31st, we celebrate the International Trans Day of Visibility. And I wanted to send a short message just to say that every human's personal identity should be seen, respected, and validated. All over the world, transgender humans are marginalized, ostracized, driven to poverty, or subjected to horrific hate crimes every single day. To my transgender friends that I both know or that I haven't met yet, I wanted to say that you are acknowledged and I also stand in awe of your courage to be exactly who you are meant to be by your own authentic and personal choice. And please know that you are seen and you are loved, not just on March 31st, but every single day. Thank you. Hi, I'm John Byrne. Welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. So over the years in the entertainment industry that I've worked, I've had the good fortune to work with many talented trans friends, excellent singers, dancers, actors, directors. But actually, neither of those reasons are the reasons why I think being a trans ally is important. Because the truth of the matter is that whether you're a friend or whether you're somebody in a country miles away that I'll never meet, and whether you're an excellent dancer or actor or singer or whether you sing as badly as me, um, you deserve to be fully yourself. You deserve to feel safe in being fully yourself and you deserve to be supported in being yourself. The thing about talent is I wish I could sing, but I can't because talent is basically we don't get a say in talents that are given to us. Um, what we do get a say in is whether we choose to support people and care for people and love people or whether we choose to bully them and harass them just for being who they are. Um, that's a choice that we all have to make and I know which choice is the right one for me. Hi, my name is Susan Eisenberg and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Really grateful to Sarah for asking me to say a few words about my support of the trans community, which I feel is um, really about allowing people to be who they are, um, to be who they feel they are authentically, to identify as they feel they are, and not as they're perceived to be or as others see them as, and to do all of that 
um, in a safe way. And so I support anyone's right to live that way. I support my brothers and sisters in the trans community's right to do that every day. And I will fight for that right. So to all of you, I give you my love, I give you my respect, and I give you my support every day. Thank you. Bye. Hi, I'm John Lee Brody, and welcome to The Sarah O'Connell Show. Now I'm here today not only to support my wonderful friend Sarah O'Connell, I am also here today to voice my support for the trans community. Now the trans community is a community that is so beautifully diverse but it's also a community that is so very misunderstood. It's a community that faces challenges day after day, not least of which is a legal system that doesn't protect all of their rights, a high poverty rate, especially amongst trans people of color, and the fact that trans people are at a higher risk than an average person to have violence thrust upon them. Now, and on top of that, the stigma surrounding the trans community due to over a century's worth of mischaracterizations that were unilaterally placed on the trans community, such as socially deviant or mentally ill, or other not so complimentary adjectives. It's important for us to speak up. It's important for us to voice our support. It's important for us to continue these conversations so that together we can destigmatize. The great Bruce Lee once had a quote, I said, under the skies there is but one family. Just so happens, man, people are different. Now you see on bumper stickers and hashtags and social media that says trans rights are human rights. And that's true. And it's about time that all of us truly start believing that. Hey, my name is Anastasia Busis and you're watching The Sarah O'Connell Show. Welcome. It is International Day of Trans Visibility. From one ally, I'm sending you love, light, all my support. Go on and be your beautiful self. I work in sports, so a big special shout out to all the trans athletes out there making sport a more inclusive place, society a more inclusive place, a more beautiful place. Special shout out to Quinn. I'm Canadian. They are Canadian, of course. The first out non-binary athlete to win an Olympic gold medal in Tokyo 2020. We're really proud here, of course, in Canada. Sending you all my love today. Hi, I'm Bill Squire, the comedian and co-host of The Alan Cox Show in Cleveland, Ohio on 100.7 WMMS, and you're watching The Sarah O'Connell Show. Thanks for watching. I am a trans ally. My son came out to me as trans in 2015. He is now 19 years old, and it was important for me to go through that process with him, and it saved his life. He was very depressed before his transition. He was in a, a very dark place and when he felt comfortable enough to come out to me uh, at a pretty young age, he, he was uh, only 12 at the time, and we started the process. It didn't mean we started, you know, shooting them up like everybody on the other side seems to think that the day someone says they're trans, they're, they're immediately getting hormones. No, we went through the process. We met with doctors, we, uh, therapists and it was the right decision for him and it, it was a long and rewarding but although challenging process and uh I, I i hope there's more people that can get that support uh i was happy to support my son and uh he was happy to have the support from me and his mother and uh he's he's doing great now and so on this uh this very important day. I just want to say I'm an ally and I do everything I can to uh, to support uh, people that are trans uh, and that's and enjoy the show. Thank you to all of my amazing guests and to everybody watching. As always, I'll be releasing another video on Trans Day Visibility itself on the 31st of March to shine a spotlight on more incredible people in the trans community. Please follow all of my amazing guests, read their books, watch their movies, listen to their music and enjoy their art. To trans and non-binary people in the UK, Texas, Idaho, Florida, Ukraine and all around the world, I love you. Be sure to share, subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up and leave lots of lovely comments. And I'll see you all again soon for another episode of the Sarah O'Connell Show. Bye.